A matrix is just a table of numbers, and like tables, you have rows and columns. Here we have a matrix with one, two, three rows in a single column, so it's called three by one matrix. This one, two rows, two columns, so it's two by two matrix. Single row, two columns, one by two matrix. Addition can be done between two matrices that have same number of rows and columns. And the operation is very straightforward. You just add element by element. So you have 1 plus 2, which is 3. 0 plus 5 is 5. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 3 plus negative 2 is just a positive 1. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 2, 1 is 2. Scalar multiplication means you have a number in front of the matrix and you just multiply this number to each of the element. element. You have 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times negative 2, 2 times 0. Now, matrix products, however, is very complicated. It looks weird. It's because People who first invented matrix products had in mind the uh, composition of functions. Uh, it's a rather long story, so instead of trying to explain that, let me ju just show you how to multiply two matrices. Uh, to remember the convention for a matrix products, you just simply have to remember up, cross, down. This is so important. Let me repeat this again. Up, cross, down. So what do you mean by across down? So you take a row, do across, take a column of the second matrix, do down, and uh, once you pick a row and a column, you multiply their first element by first element, it's 1 times 3, second element by second element, so it's 2 times 1, and you just add them together. In this case it's just 5, so I'm going to write that result here. Now let's think about the next column. So you do ro first row and second column. 1 times 2, 2 times negative 2, and then you add them together, which is negative 2. So you're going to put a negative 2 here. And if you're done with all the columns, then you go to the next row, across down again, and you do negative 2 times 3 plus 1 times 1, which is negative 5, so let's just put that here. Negative 2 times 2, 1 times negative 2, and that's uh, negative 6. You just have to get used to it by practicing a lot. So let me do another matrix multiplication here, and uh, as a result, uh, you will learn something called the identity matrix. Again, across, down, across, down. If you get used to it, you can just do this mentally. Across, down, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 0 is 0, so it's just 1. Across, down, 0 times 1 is nothing, 2 times 1 is 2, so that's what you have. Across down, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, and 1 times 0 is nothing, so you get that. Across down, negative 2 times 0 is nothing, 1 times 1 is 1, so you have 1. Now, if you look at what you got, you can see that multiplying this matrix here didn't do anything to that matrix. You get the same result. And that's why this matrix is, is called identity matrix. Uh, no matter what kind of matrix you multiply this to, whether you multiply it before, before or after, you'll always end up with the same matrix. Let me do another matrix multiplication, this time between a decimal uh, matrix and a regular user integer ma matrix. 0.2 times 1 plus uh, negative 0.4 times negative 2. That's across down. Right? What is this? This is uh, 0.2 
negative negative becomes positive, 2 times 4 is 8, so it's plus 0.8, and that will give you 1. So the first result you get is 1, and let me just do the mental math for the other ones. The across down, 0.2 times 2 is 0.4, negative 0.4 times 1 is negative 0.4, and they cancel, giving you 0. This times that is 0.4, this times that is negative 0.4, Adding the two together, you get zero, and doing the rest of them, you'll see that they multiply to one zero zero one. What was this matrix again? That's identity matrix. So, if something like that happens, we are going to say that this matrix is the inverse of that matrix, and this matrix is the inverse of that matrix. And uh, to write them symbolically, here's how you, you say it. 0 0.2, negative 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. The inverse of this matrix is same as 1, 2, negative 2, 1. And also, uh, you have negative 2, 1, 2, 1 inverse equals to uh, this matrix. 0 0.2, negative 0.4. 0.4.2. Now you might wonder, how did I get this matrix? How did I know that they are going to multiply to 1001? 0, 0, 1? Well, that's because I have a convenient formula to use, which is the formula for inverse of a matrix. Mm. This is a 2 by 2 matrix, and there are formulas for inverse of a 3 by 3. 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, and so on and so on. It has to be a square matrix to have an inverse. And uh, the general formula is called the Kronecker's formula for inverse matrices. And uh, you should look them up because it's quite too complicated to be introduced here. Alright, so let's just check. We had 1, 2, negative 2, and 1. Let's see what this will give you. By the way, this D here is AD minus BC. That's called the determinant of the matrix. Now, determinant of 3 by 3, 4 by 4 are much more complicated, and I will treat them in a separate video. Okay, so what, what do I do with it? First, let's compute D. D is AD minus BC, so that's 2 times negative 2, and that's 5, and that's the number I'm going to put it here, put here, 1 over D. Now, if you look at what we are doing in this matrix, A and D are switched, whereas B and C are negated. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to take these two and switch them. Unfortunately, they are exactly the same, so you're not going to see anything different. And these two, we're just going to negate it. Negative of 2 and negative of negative 2, which is positive 2. And that should be the inverse. Now, multiplying 1 fifth to each of these mat matrix elements, you'll find that the value that you get is 1 over 5, which is 0 0.2, 2 over 5, which is 0 0.4, uh, 3, which is exactly the same matrix that we got before. Let me end this presentation by showing you how to do products of a 3x3 three three matrix. And it's basically done the same way, across, down. So 1 times 1, 0 times 0, 2 times 1, that's 3. Across, down, 1 times 2, 0 times negative 1, 2 times 2, which is 6. 1, 3, 0, 2, 2, 0, 3. Uh, this times that gives you 1, 0, that's 3, 6, uh, that's 5, 3 times 3 is 9, 1 times 2, that's 11, uh, 0 times 1, nothing, multiplying each of them you get 5 here, multiplying these two across down, you always do across down, 0, 2, negative 1, negative 1, 5 times 2, that's 11, Finally, 0, 3, negative 1, 2, 5, and 0, that's negative 2. And that's how you multiply two 3 by 3 matrices.